What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? In this video, I'm gonna give you the cheat code to shortcutting your success with selling life insurance. Now, this one thing, this one, you know, you could call it a tactic, a strategy, whatever, is ultimately going to just supercharge your ability to sell insurance and make you 10 times better over the phone if you literally just implement this one thing into your business. So, if we haven't met yet, my name is Tim Schoker on the Life Insurance Sales Channel, where we put out free content to help insurance agents like yourself make six figures over the phone working from home. I also own a company called Advanced Agent Marketing. We teach and help insurance agents to generate their own leads and get pre-booked appointments that book on their calendar. Now, I've coached and trained hundreds of insurance agents in lead generation and also sales to help them make more money in their business. And of all of the things that are out there, like in terms of sales at least, and boosting your ability to close deals over the phone, this is the one thing that will move the needle the most. It's the highest leverage thing that you can do, right? So I've hyped it up, what is this one thing? Well, the one thing is actually building conviction. Now before you click off of this video and think that I'm about to go into you know some woo woo, uh, meditate around some crystals and you know snort fairy farts or whatever to get better at selling life insurance, Pay attention because if you listen here, I promise that this will actually have a massive impact on your ability to close deals and uh, make money. So the thing is, sales fundamentally is literally just a transference of belief over a bridge of trust, right? So it's important to understand that because whenever you get on the phone, first you have to establish this bridge of trust, right? because nobody cares what you say if they don't trust you, right? So part of the sale is establishing this bridge of trust, making them trust you, um, and you know, really building that relationship with the person, right? But in this video particularly, I'm gonna talk about how to transfer belief, and more importantly, how to build this belief so that you can actually transfer it, right? Because we can't transfer something that doesn't exist, right? If I don't believe, how am I gonna get the other person to believe, right? And so basically, what, act, what it actually comes down to in terms of whether you close a deal or whether you don't, whether someone hangs up on you and whether they don't, is their belief that you're full of it has to be less than your belief that this is actually the right thing for them, right? Fundamentally, that's what it comes down to. You have to believe more than their disbelief, right? I guess we would put the arrow going in the different direction. Your belief has to be higher than their disbelief in order for you to close the deal and make a sale, right? So let's talk about building conviction and what this actually looks like and how you can do it, right? Because a lot of people um, get into this industry not because they believe in the product, but because they hear that it's a good money-making opportunity, which is fine, right? Because it is. It's a business at the end of the day. And the beautiful thing about this business is we get to help people, but most people get into this business because of the income potential and the ability to work from home. Usually, right, there's obviously exceptions, but from my experience, uh, people don't get into this because they're just crazy passionate about final expense insurance. Maybe that builds over time, but a lot of people don't get in for that reason, right? But the problem with that is, is that in order for you to sell and be like a, a super producer, make a ton of money, help a bunch of people, you have to have that like, you have to basically be like a missionary, but for life insurance, right? Um, not a mercenary. So there's a, a concept Patrick by David talks about called missionary versus mercenary. Um, and a missionary, right? Stop laughing. A missionary is basically somebody that really believes in the cause, right? They're truly dedicated to the cause. And they would basically, I mean, in historical sense, they would be willing to die for the cause. You don't have to be willing to die for life insurance, but you should really believe about it, believe in it, right? And if, you, if the person on the other end of the phone can feel that level of conviction, like whatever objection they throw at you is just gonna fall, fall off, right? Versus mercenaries are kind of like what I described earlier when I talked about why people get into the industry. They basically jump and they opportunity hop. So one day they're selling furniture and furniture is the best thing since sliced bread. The next day they're selling solar and solar is the best thing since sliced bread. The next thing they're selling cars because everybody needs a, a used car, right? And then the next day they're selling insurance because everybody needs insurance, right? But they don't actually believe this thing. They're just, from whatever industry they're in, they're just chasing the best opportunity and they're just pushing that and they're following a script and doing whatever their upline tells them, but they don't truly believe and you can hear that in their voice, right? So again, you have to be 100% confident in what you're selling because if you aren't, your prospect won't be either, right? So let's pause real quick. 
maybe you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I mean, that sounds great. I know I need to be more confident. I know I need to really believe in life insurance, but like, I don't, right? I don't really, I don't really care. I don't really, you know, see it as like a need. I'm just here to make money. I'm just here to sell. Okay, well, that's fine, but you're not going to see the success, it's counterintuitive, right? If you want to make more money and sell more insurance, you have to believe in insurance. So it all starts again with belief. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually build belief um, and what that actually looks like. I'm gonna give you guys some tactics to build your conviction so that you are able to, you know, one, feel better about the product that you're selling and two, be able to close at a higher percent, right? So again, we kind of touched on some of these things. Conviction is the number one secret to sales. A convicted salesperson will always outsell somebody who is not convicted, right? The not convicted person could actually be better at sales, and then this person could just really believe in the product. People are gonna buy from this person every time. So here's a here's an analogy for you guys to kind of like really get this. Uh, think about the last time that you had like a friend recommend like a product or a restaurant to you. They're like, you know, hey, Tim, you really have to try this um, steakhouse, right? They're super convicted in it and so you don't really have objections. It's not like, you know, you, you have to go try the steakhouse. Like the, the ribeye is just amazing. It melts in your mouth. You got to get a medium rare, you get a glass of wine. The bread that comes with it is just amazing. You're not, you don't, like your reply to that is not... Yeah, let me think about it. Like you're just like, okay, yeah, I'll go to the damn steakhouse because this person's like really sold on the steakhouse. That's how convicted sales actually is in practice. So we have to get ourselves convicted to the level that our friends are convicted about the steakhouse, but about final expense life insurance and everything else will fall into place, right? So here's a quick, easy way to build conviction. This is actually inside of our training, inside of our coaching program. The doc that I'm on is usually only available for people inside of our program, but this particular message I think is super important and I wanted to get it out to you guys. So this is something that I discovered that is the quickest, fastest, easiest way to build conviction. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up GoFundMe and you're gonna type in burial, right? Because what I want you guys to really see is like we just see the policies and the carriers and the chargebacks and the numbers and the whatever. We don't really see the people, especially if we're doing this over the phone. And so to build conviction, you need to see the people. You need to see who this is actually affecting if they don't have it, right? So up here at the top, you will see a lot of people that have their GoFundMes funded, right? Now again, this is all for burials. These are people looking to bury their family member, meaning all of these people up here have recently passed away, right? Which is obviously a tragedy. But most of these people have their GoFundMes funded, right? So the family is not having to come out of pocket. But what I want you guys to do is scroll down a bit and you'll start to see these situations, right? Here's one, $435 raised, honor a beloved man with a proper funeral. So this person has only raised $435 out of, let's see what their goal was, 5,000, meaning that they're like, the time between somebody passing away and you having to bury them is like not, it's a very short window. Um, so this family is going to have to take out a loan or go into debt or sell some assets in order to uh, bury, I'm assuming this is somebody's dad, right? Or here's another one, if we scroll down, this other guy, 1910 raised out of $20,000 goal, meaning that they are likely not going to, yeah, this guy passed away 10 days ago, and they still don't even have like 10% of their goal, right? Two days until the service. So they're going to have to go into debt to pay for their family's funeral. And these are just situations happening in the last like 10 days or so, right? Scroll down, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Like this literally happens constantly, all the time, right? All the freaking time. And all of these situations can be avoided if we do our job and are convicted enough in the product that we're selling to get these people over the line and make them make the decision to help their family, right? Because imagine that you are this lady Arlene, right? Or you're Matthew, for example and your dad or your grandpa passes away and you have to post a bunch of like photos of your family member on GoFundMe, share it on Facebook, and you're basically like, you're doing a fundraiser and while you're doing that fundraiser, you're basically advertising that your family member was not responsible. 
So you're not only dealing with the pain of losing your family member, but then you're having to go out and advertise that they were irresponsible. And if you don't hit the goal, it's kind of a slap in the face because it's like, damn, people didn't really care about my family member or they don't care about me enough to help me out in this situation. And all of that pain, all of that embarrassment can be avoided if they simply just took care of this ahead of time, which is what we help people do, right? Like put yourself in the situation of the family and imagine what it's actually like. Maybe you've gone through it and that, in that situation, you're always convicted, right? Whenever I talk to somebody that has gone through this situation personally, there's zero lack of conviction for them. It's usually like younger people, maybe people around my age or maybe people that just haven't gone through this situation that aren't as convicted in the product, right? So again, look at these, these are real people, right? These are actually real people. And these are people that are passing away recently, right? This guy passed away, he was battling cancer for 10 years and uh, looks like he just recently passed away, right? And now his wife is having to do a GoFundMe to raise money for his burial. And again, like scroll down, you'll see all of these tons and tons and tons of these GoFundMes that are not getting funded, right? Not funded, not funded, not funded, not funded. And every single time you see one of these, it's a whole family of people that just lost their loved one and don't have enough money to pay for the burial, right? So this is one way to build conviction because you can actually see the people. And I highly recommend too, like donating some money to some of these just so that you can feel like personally connected to the problem, right? So, you know, I've occasionally gone through and just donated some money to some of these just to kind of help out. And it makes you feel good about what you're doing because you know that you're actually trying to help, right? So that's one way to do it. The other way, is um, on YouTube, you can look up real stories about life insurance. This is called Real Life Stories from a YouTube channel called Life Happens. And there are 29 videos of stories of people that either passed away with life insurance or passed away without life insurance and how it affected their family. So I recommend a lot of times for people to like watch a few of these before jumping on the phone every day, just to get themselves in the mindset of what they're actually doing. Like you're not going out and calling to make money, you're going out and calling to help these families and you get paid for providing that service, right? So there's YouTube channels actually online that you can watch um, all about just stories from life insurance, which will really, really help you build that conviction, right? So the thing is, right? If you let somebody off the hook and you don't do your best to help them, right? Like they say, I need to think about it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever, right? It might not happen to them, but if you continue like to not push, you don't learn how to overcome the objections, you're not really convicted in the product, what's going to happen is at some point, somebody is going to pass away that could have gotten life insurance that you talked to, but because you weren't convicted enough and didn't push them, they didn't get it, and their family is gonna end up on that GoFundMe page. So that should really help you guys become convicted because again, you are actually having an impact on these families and what situation they go through when their loved one passes away, whether it's you know a clean, smooth process and they're able to handle everything, or if you make a, a tragedy into like a devastating tragedy. So the, what, the work that you do really matters, right? Like it may seem insignificant at first. It may not seem like you're really doing something, like when you get cussed out and hung up on, like you may feel like an annoyance or a pest, but you are actually doing real good in the world and the product that you sell and that you're helping people with actually changes lives. So build that conviction, go through some of these resources. If you guys want more training like this, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want more like intensive personalized training uh, from us and our team, you can click the link down below to join our coaching program. We have tons of videos just like this and you'll get access to this exact document. So take care ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.